The best crime movies usually strike a balance between tense plotting and solid character building. How does the new Brad Pitt movie, Killing Them Softly, stack up in those departments? Here's our film critic, Eric Moline. Killing Them Softly has a lot of talking and very little action. It's all the more complex and interesting because of it, but calling this movie a thriller at all is a bit of a stretch. It's an ensemble piece with Brad Pitt playing a hitman enforcer type who cleans up other people's messes. When a couple of scuzzy, heroin-addled dum-dums knock off a mob card game, Pitt hires another professional killer to help him take the losers out, and nothing goes as planned. Director Andrew Dominic indulges his curiosity with a lot of close-ups on nasty, sweaty men who've backed themselves into all kinds of tight corners. His fetish for the banality of their lives makes up the bulk of killing them softly. The dialogue is equally crude and revealing, while comparisons to the 2008 recession come off more heavy-handed as the movie progresses. But Killing Them Softly eventually finds its own rhythm and its own way of building dread, punctuated by a couple of amazing cinematic moments that won't soon be forgotten. It's an art house movie masquerading in its marketing as a thriller, but Killing Them Softly is really a bleakly funny allegory for the state of America. For Kansas First News, I'm Eric Moline.